I'd like to take the opportunity and introduce Rhonda Kennard, life coach, author, and just an overall amazing, amazing person. So would we please put our hands together and just welcome Mrs. Rhonda Kennard. And what I'm suggesting to you today is that you stop doing just enough to get by. Everybody in this room is capable of living. Why play small when you have big things you want to do in your life? You can decide to stay at the bottom of the mountain with a chip on your shoulder and an attitude and blame the world for your problems. Or you can choose to be empowered and know that despite all the adversity you've gone through, you still have greater things burning inside of you that you want to accomplish. So what happened? I started to climb. Little by little, I got my act together. And I realized during the climb that I had to create my future. I don't know what they're going to say or what they're going to provide for you. So you take advantage of every opportunity. Don't let anything pass you by. Because again, how you play on campus is how you play. Life. Because I didn't let that setback keep me at the bottom of that hill and then blame everybody else and then fall back in line with my friends who didn't want to do anything. I used what I learned and I used the feeling of not liking. I just didn't like failing. Failure is good when you learn from it and move on. But I didn't like sitting at the bottom of that mountain. That sucked because I knew I deserved better. Maybe you don't want to take ownership for what you did and you can blame other people and say somebody kicked you down the mountain. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. You didn't get the support you needed. Whatever. How will you ever know what the mountaintop experience looks like if you wallow, wallow, and just moan and groan at the bottom of the mountain? Hi, I'm interested in um, fighting for the rainforest. Hi, I'm here for career services. Wait, what's this thing going on? I would make my face known in the place. Because when you want to do big things, you don't know where your next step up. Most of us wouldn't, but a lot of us won't stand in our greatness because we're so worried about what everybody else thinks, that we're gonna just, we're gonna blend in with the crowd. Again, I'm back here because when you stand out there, people watch you and they say stuff. Being a people pleaser will not get you where you want to be in life. And every time someone comments on what you do differently, you need to thank them because that's the universe reminding you, you've got this great thing going and it looks strange to small-minded. And that's okay. Life Ignited is three things. Of purpose, on purpose, in motion.